This week on JTV, we're celebrating our 200th JTV webisode. We create JTV right here in my hometown, Grand Rapids, Michigan. And every week we bring you Fun with Flowers and Jay. So join us for this landmark 200th webisode. Today, we'll show you labor-saving pre-mades from Amy's Orchids that you can use in special events or to wear. So let's take a look at some of the amazing things Amy's can create for you. One of the things to remember is always look for the Amy's logo. That ensures that the authority on orchids that you trust is creating your pre-made items. These are brand new for Amy. She has necklaces that are created out of different styles of orchids with decorative beads in between. Look at all the great colors that are available and you can customize them or earrings created out of her red macaras. And you can choose the orchids right from her website and pick the orchids you want in your jewelry. Or how about bracelets as well? Already done and created. There's a great place this year who cashed in on this idea. They had Amy's create corsages and boutonnieres for them for prom and ordered them all up and they were already done. So think of the opportunities you can create using her products. Another thing that Amy specializes in is lays. Now you're familiar with seeing a lay like this, and there's different thicknesses. This is one of her doubles, which means that the orchids are doubled up on the strand. They do singles, and those are less expensive. Or they make triples, like this. Three orchids around the outside, each forming each one of the layers on this garland itself. And these garlands can be created to any length that you desire. She's got beautiful Vanda orchids that are incredible. And many of Amy's varieties are varieties only Amy grows. She has special varieties that she's hybridized or have been hybridized by her family and grown for you in Thailand. And they get to you quickly, efficiently, and freshly. Coming into the United States in all different ports, she has special agents that clear her orchids and ensure that your orchids arrive on time. Let's take a look at what we can do with these great orchids. As garlands themselves, they can be decorative for a centerpiece. I'm gonna take some aluminum wire. We'll fabricate our own hanger for this. I've got one loop at one end, and I'll do another one in the opposite direction on the other side. Now, Amy's orchids come in their own boxes, just like the one you see back there, and they're all labeled. And when they come, they're packaged. One of the things you want to remember is to take them out of the sleeve and allow the moisture to evaporate first. You don't want moisture tied in with these and misting them is not a good idea because it adds to the moisture and can cause botrytis to set in. So allow that to evaporate off the outside and release that moisture and then place it back in the bag. These wonderful garlands already have a hook on the end that's been created from the person who created it. We can use that and attach that to a hook and then place it up on the edge of a beautiful vase like this. Or we can take two, we'll take this one and put that in the middle of the garland. and drape that off to one side. It's important to remember that you can measure and make these lengths to whatever specification you need for your next part of your special event. Today's project is going to feature a new product that's available from Amy, her foliages. I wanted to show you how meticulously she cares for her foliage. For example, each one has its variety name on the outside. And each one of the individual leaves has its own water source. 
So they attach a water source to the bottom of the leaf in shipping so that this never travels without any water. It's the perfect way for you to identify your product and also be ensured that you're going to get fresh tropical foliage along with your incredible orchids. There's all sorts of different varieties. And each one has been packaged to the specifications of the foliage itself. So today, we'll feature that in our project. So today, I'll show you how easy it is to create a beautiful, stunning special event centerpiece when you use Amy's Orchids and Foliage. We're using three different types of foliage, a Diffenbachia leaf, a pin leaf, and the philodendron leaf. Inside our trumpet vase, we're using the green gala bouquet holder. It's the perfect size and allows us to have that artesia shape inside there and caging the foam. It also makes delivery easy because we can take these out and transport them separately and drop them into the trumpet vases on location. So we'll add our leaves first. Now imagine Diffenbachia leaves. Those are fragile leaves and they've been sent all the way from Thailand. Because they had the water source, these remained hydrated the whole time. I love the variegation of this foliage. It's gonna look great with our garland and also with the dendrobiums that we're gonna use. This one is called Pin Leaf. It's a wonderful narrow leaf. We'll group those together the same way that we grouped the other philodendron leaves on the other side. Now it's time to add our dendrobiums. One of the key points about Amy's orchids is the length that you can see from the bottom blossom to the end of the stem. That's what you want to look for when you're looking for a fresh dendrobium orchid. That should be approximately six to 10 inches long. That's important. A stem that's shorter in that distance means that you're not getting the freshest possible orchid you could get. Amy's always ensures that these are fresh cut and so that you're always receiving the very best orchid. We'll add our dendrobiums. I always look too for the natural shape of the orchid itself because you can tell the direction in which that blossom grew. So as this one naturally sweeps to that side, it's gonna be great for me to use it on this side of my arrangement. So that natural sweep still appears. I'm gonna add some of the pin leaves down in close. That's gonna help conceal my gala bouquet holder.
The next step is done with picks. I'm going to add two wood picks to the center of the bouquet and bring up the end of my garland and place it on that wood pick. What this is actually going to do is form a necklace around the base of the container. Pearls and necklaces are very popular now, and that's so opulent. Can you imagine a whole ballroom full of these arrangements and that wonderful sweeping garland of orchids down at the bottom? People will go crazy. So let's not forget, this centerpiece could also be used at night. And we can add a wonderful product from Acolyte called the Vine Light. This is great because the battery pack itself is waterproof. And this is a vine light of LEDs. So we can simply take our gala bouquet holder out of the vase and drop our vine light down inside. Place our gala bouquet holder back inside and then weave our vine light through our arrangement. The greatest part about this vine light is the on off switch is here at the end. So we don't need to get back inside to that battery pack. We turn it on right here. And we can conceal that switch in the back of the arrangement. It's a perfect way for us to create an incredible special event piece. So, whether it's orchids, or foliage, or flowers to wear, Amy's does it all. Thanks for joining us on our landmark 200th webisode. We'll keep making JTV, and you keep having fun with flowers.